Hello everybody, it's Adam here. I'm looking forward to going up to uh, London today to the British Interplanetary Society for another one of our conferences. We're going to be talking about the work that the group has been doing on redesigning Island One, a space habitat uh, created by Dr O'Neill and his colleagues in the 1970s. I'm also going to be updating them on my research into space law and in particular looking at the law relating to Antarctica and thinking of that as an analogy uh, for space law in this particular area. So really excited about it and here we go. So here's um, slightly updated. This is uh, part of what I was saying about the lead up to Island Zero. So first of all, it explained the, the title of the project and showed our logo. So the aim of the space project is to re-examine and update the space colony studies of the 1970s. So this first section then is about the evolution of Island Zero. So the original studies produced three main designs based on the most useful shapes for space habitats. To start this off, <laughs> the first thing we need is actually to get experience of living in space under simulated production and also to get experience in 
processing material and carrying out construction. So it suggested that phase one of this would be living under simulated gravity in a unit which can be constructed from modular units and hopefully also some that we will produce in space that they will grow a large percentage of their food in space and they will work on development of a space manufacturing facility to produce components. Um, so phase two would include the establishment of facilities to extract materials from the mill. And we've been looking at that and it looks as if they are actually, they do provide enough uh, lift to keep the two things apart. One of the problems is with having this configuration, and this is where we've had to change the design, is although you've got them count to rotating, so you've cancelled out the angular momentum of the, of the system, they will try and fight each other. And the main lift system has to, it needs to be strong enough to, res to resist that. So what we decided to do was to actually follow the, the um, 1.3 length to radius ratio to make them stable so they don't wobble.